Well, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the garage. Um, we're only illuminated by one small light here, so excuse the poor lighting. Excuse all the cars going by outside as well. When it comes to building the guitar, there are several points where there is no turning back. It's all or nothing, and this is the most obvious one. And it's the staining of the front of the body. Now this has got a veneer on the top which is uh, flamed maple. It's very very thin but that's not going to stop me having a go. Now the stain I'm going to use is this which is Stunning Stains The Modern Finish by Crimson Guitars in the UK. It's a water based stain and this is going to be green. And I think I've tried it out on a small bit, a couple of other bits of wood already, and it looks really quite stunning, I must say. This is uh, not expensive, this uh, stain, but there's a couple, couple of things. One, that writing is really very small. I struggle to read that, so you could do with making that writing a bit bigger. Crimson Guitars, 150 millilitres. And there's only one thing to do, there's no messing around. Let's get on with it. So it says shake well. Now I have shake sh I have shaked it well, shook it well. And there's no going back, so let's do this. Now I want to make sure that I don't knock over this stain. So I'm gonna keep it out of view over here. That should mean I don't knock it over, but there you go. Right then. Let's try. There's only one way to go. Wow, look at that. That is green, isn't it? That's very green. Now, I've not done this before as is quite obvious, but I have watched lots of videos. Uh, Crimson Guitars is a good place to uh, go to see videos about this, as is a guy in America, I think, called Big D Guitars. I think I'm going to have to do a couple of coats. Now this is water-based as opposed to alcohol based. Alcohol based is a bit more awkward I think because you don't get the chance to work with it once you've put it on. Um, whereas the water based stain you should get more of an opportunity to either manoeuvre the stain around with a bit of water afterwards whereas alcohol you're stuck with what you've got. And when it comes to the edge, the guy at Crimson Guitars says what you've got to do is go out towards the edge. Like this. Because then you don't get a build up of stain round by the binding. Do a bit more over here. Now a lot of people go round in circles when they do this. So put it on in a circular motion. But I've also heard it said that what you need to do is go that way across the body. So we will see. Now, a lot of people also do fancy burst stains, so it's dark around the edge. I'm not going to do that because I've only got this green, I haven't got any black, and I think that would be a bit adventurous for a first go. 
So, so I'm just going to do it this one colour. Coats is going to be needed, I think. A couple of coats, I'm not sure it's coats, is it? Um, this is really showing up well, isn't it? This green, I do like this. This is really good. take a while to dry afterwards and then it will need rubbing down with a bit of um, sandpaper not sure what grit yet not very much because the veneer is so thin so I can't go mad with it relatively evenly coated well that's what I'm trying to do anyway cars going by outside let's try a bit more at the top here you don't need much of this stain it tends to go a long way to this section up here making sure I don't knock the bottle over so the last thing I want to do is knock the bottle over that would be a disaster wouldn't it I wonder if I'm being a bit, uh, I need to be a bit more generous with this stain I think, perhaps that's what the second coat is for, particularly up there, Let's go up. this is a bit awkward on this guitar up on this bit here because there's no binding on this section. Just there. do about five or six guitars with this bottle. Okay, well this is coming together. this section.
the flamed maple pattern is bringing out this lined effect. And the idea is that the stain, where the stain is lighter, then it gets absorbed into the wood more. And where the stain is darker, it doesn't, it's not getting absorbed that much. So, that's how I understand it anyway. And then I think I'm arriving at the point where that will do for the first coat. Okay, I think I will leave that for oh, a few minutes and then return to that and see what that looks like. Okay, so it's about uh, 90 minutes later and I'm going to give it a second coat of the uh, Stunning Stains green water-based stain. Just a reminder, this is um, a Coburn Guitars kit. It's a Chinese kit that is imported into the UK. That's my understanding anyway. Let's have another go with this, giving this a good shake. I think I'm going to be a bit more generous with it than I was in the first one. So I think I'm going to... I'm going to, after this coat, I'm going to leave it till tomorrow to dry out completely. And I should sand it down with. I'm not sure what sandpaper. Different people use different grits of sandpaper for rubbing this down, as far as I can tell. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad, actually. Okay, so there we are. Coat two is finished, and I will come back in an hour's time and see what that's like. Okay, so we're on coat three. I'm not really sure how many coats you're meant to put on, um, but I'm going to do a third coat and we'll see how we get on. So let's crack on. Again, try and be nice and generous with it. I do like this green. Very nice. Right, so that didn't take very long. Um, going around some of the edges to make sure everything's okay. Well that's about as best as I can do at the moment. Three coats. I really do like the green. It does look terrific. In my humble opinion. So there we are. That's three coats. I'm going to leave it at that for now. And then I will, I won't be doing anything tomorrow, so I think the day after that, a bit of very light rubbing down with some sandpaper, and then uh, perhaps another coat or two, who knows. There we are, we'll see how it goes. Till then, thanks very much. Good afternoon, welcome back to the garage. Uh, it's a couple of days later, and... After three coats of stain, I'm going to start sanding it down. Again, never done this before, but with a bit of experimentation, 
on some samples that I had. I'm going to try 600 grit and see how we got. And like all these things, you just got to get on with it. So let's give it a go. Okay, I'm continuing to do this sanding down and I think I'm needing this uh, rougher sandpaper. This is 180. Okay, we're now going to have a go with uh, 400 grit. So let's just see how we get on. Okay, well I think I've finished the sanding now. I've just finished with a uh, a final rub all over the surface with a thousand grit and it's lovely and smooth everywhere and it's showing off the uh, flame maple finish. If I just lift that up <coughs> excuse me. There you are. Please comment below uh, what you think of that, what you think of my technique. And uh, the next thing is to um, do another coat of the stain. But first, a cup of tea. Thanks very much. Cheers. Hi, uh, well, we're back now after the rubbing down with stunning stains green water-based stain from Crimson Guitars. I've given that a shake and I'm going to give this another coat of stain. There we are. Take the lid off. Again, doing all I can not to knock over the um, bottom of stain. So, let's see what this works out like. rather good. Yeah, look at that, that's lovely. Do um, comment below on what you think of my technique of doing all this. As I've said before, this is my first attempt at building a guitar, let alone staining one. So, please comment below on what you think I've done good, if there's anything, and what you think I've done bad. So I think this stain is really very good. I mean, I've no great experience with st wood stains, but I do like this green, and it goes on. Well, I'm not going to go mad with a heavy, thick stain. Not at this point. Just this light stain. I don't think I'm going to need any more than what I've put on there. And this should dry off 
relatively quickly and then I'll decide if I need to put another coat on but that looks pretty good. The top half there looks really good. I think that's a better bit of um, veneer on the top than it is on this on the bottom side. might do is come back and do a another um, line around the outside to at least make it a bit darker on the outside than the inside as it stands at the moment though I think I'm going to leave it at that Okay, we'll leave it at that and then we will come back in a few minutes when it's dried off. See you then.